hi again. Well, I've got a project that I've been working on getting the materials for a little bit here. It's kind of a fun thing to do. I'm going to use my temper paint that we mixed up earlier for this project. I'm going to need some glue. I have tacky glue because that's what I have at my house, but school glue probably will work better for this. I have some eggshells and I have this mortar and pestle. And your mom might have one of these in the kitchen. If you don't have one of these, you can always use like a hammer or um, even just a stick or something to do this part. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some eggshells. Now when I, when I was making stuff, making cornbread and stuff like that, I saved the shells. I rinsed them out. And if you're worried about like some of the germs that might be in eggshells, you can zap them in the microwave for a little bit and that'll kill all of the germs. Mine sat out and dried for a while so there weren't any more germs on them. So I'm going to take my eggshells and I'm going to put them in my bowl here. I'm going to use my pestle. That's what this thing is called. And I'm going to crunch them up. This is the fun part. I'm just going to crunch them, crunch them. They like to kind of turn upside down and it's hard to crunch them anymore. So you got to turn them, give them a crunch, turn them over, give them a crunch. Crunch them, crunch them until they're all crunched up. Do a little bit of stirring, a little more crunching. Now, if you use just white eggs at your house, then you'll get shells that are all white. But my shells are brown, so I have the inside which is white and the outside which is brown. So now I've got those all crunched up. Let's see what we're going to do with them. Got a piece of paper and I'm going to use a sharpie because then I can see the lines better. I'm going to draw, hmm, I think I'll draw a flower. I'm going to draw it really big. We've drawn tulips. We've drawn daffodils. We've drawn, at school we drew um, grape hyacinths. And at the very beginning of the year, we drew sunflowers. So I think that's what I'm going to draw today. I'm going to draw a sunflower. So if I'm, I'm remembering right, I don't have a sunflower to look at, but I'm going to remember there was kind of a circle in the middle, and then there were petals that came kind of like loops that came off all around it. What do you think? Yeah. So now what I'm remembering is that in the middle of the sunflower, right here, it was kind of fuzzy and there's, there was texture there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to put that in the middle. my sunflower. Put all the middle of the sunflower all filled up with glue. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take my eggshells that I crunched up. I'm going to sprinkle them on there. Shake off the ones that didn't stick. look at that. I've already got the middle of my sunflower. Just set these over here. I forgot to draw. I'm going to, I'm going to add a, a stem. And a leaf to my sunflower there. All right, now I'm going to use my paint. I'm going to make the middle of my sunflower sort of red. I watered my paint down some. You might want to take a little bit of your paint and water it down. Or you could use watercolors. You really could use any kind of paint for this. So I got mine probably a little bit too runny. But I wanted it to be able to go into the sunflower. Into the eggshells here. Give it some texture. Texture is when you can feel things better. It's easier to feel these, the eggshells in there. So now, you know, if you wanted to use more eggshells, you could put some in the petals, put some in the leaf, put them anywhere you want. I'm going to paint some green. On my leaf. Stem. And then I'm going to paint some yellow on my petals. Oh, that's such a bright, sunny yellow. I like those eggshells on there. Kind of makes it look like there's sunflower seeds in the middle. And you could do this with, maybe a little hard to do it with markers, and I'm not sure how it would work. You could try though, see what it would work, how it would work to use markers to color the eggshells. And wow, that looks quite, quite sunny, I think. What do you think? Yours is going to look very different than mine. Oh, and now mine's dripping all over because I made my paint too runny. But I kind of like the drips coming down too. Well, whatever you draw, and however you use your crushed up eggshells, I'll bet you're going to be really happy with them. I want to remind you, when you do some of these art projects, hold on to them so that you can put them in your portfolio when you get it. Because you are going to get your portfolio this year. We'll make sure that you get it. And there'll be some extra pages where you can put your work from this time when we can't be in school together. So that's it for now. I enjoyed sharing this with you. I miss you guys so much. I wish we could be together. We'll see each other again soon.